Hi everyone, it's Darlene. Welcome to my video on ink storage. I have really struggled over the years with a good way to store both my uh, distress inks as well as my other inks like Simon Says Stamp and Memento. Um, and I have finally found a couple of solutions that are just working great for me and I really wanted to share them with you. My main issue with ink storage is that I really didn't want to label the sides of the ink pads. I just thought that was too much work. So anyway, here we go. Now I'm going to start off by showing you my Stampin' Up! inks. Um, they are stored in my Stampin' Up! caddy and um, it, this is a really great way to store these in a compact way. The Stampin' Up! ink pads are already labeled on the side so it makes it a lot easier to store. Um, they just pull in and out really easily from all these little slots. I've got them stored in rainbow order. This caddy spins. Mine's a little stiff. I'm not sure why. I think it might be a little bit too tight. Um, but anyway, so it spins and so you can see all your inks pretty easily. I also store other brands of inks. They fit into these slots. I've got some Simon Says Stamp. I've got some Hero Arts, Memento, the color box ones. This is a color box one right here. It's a little small, but it still fits. Um, and then I've got also some VersaFine, some VersaMark um, in other areas. I use the top for storing reinkers and a few other items that I need handy. So this is a great uh, storage caddy. Okay, moving on to my very favorite new discovery. Uh, it's Distress Ink Storage. Now I used to store all my ink pads just flat. Uh, in the Alexa drawer by Ikea because I always wanted to see the top of the ink pad. I just have a problem with labeling the sides. I just think it's a lot of work and then you can't really see it that well. I just really like to see the tops of my ink pads. So I found these nail polish holders, believe it or not, that's what it is. So if I take this out, you'll see that there's enough room for a nail polish a container, a bottle of nail polish. Um, and so there's four rows and I also found that uh, you can fit four Distress ink pads straight across without any extra space. They just fit perfectly. So you can see how this doesn't wiggle hardly at all, yet they're really easy to take out and put back. So there are four rows and you, there's just enough visibility to where you can see the colors on each. I store them in rainbow order. Uh, I started with reds, then pinks, orange, yellows, greens and you're probably noticing that all the back ones are upside down. Well, I put them upside down because you could still see the name. So if I stored it right side up, you'd still be able to see the color. So if I put this in here, you'll see that you can still see ripe persimmon color, but if you store it upside down, you can see the color and the name. And uh, so I don't have any problem reading it upside down. It's really easy to do. So anyway, I have uh, three of these uh, in rainbow order. I have some room to grow on the third one. You can buy this holder on Amazon uh, and they also sell it at Container Store. So um, anyway, I love it. All right, moving on to my Alexa drawer unit. I store my other ink pads in the bottom drawers that are a little bit deeper than the top drawers. So when I pull this out, you'll see all my other ink pads and this includes Simon Says Stamp, I've got Memento, um, all my pigment, pigment inks, some Hero Arts, um, lots of ones, basically all my non-distress, non-stampin' up um, ink pads. Now the ones I had in my Stampin' Up! caddy are just some commonly used ones, mostly black and Versamark, but anyway, I love how this is stored. I've combined some of the brands and I've separated some of the brands, but you'll see that I can clearly just quickly flip through which ones I have and I can just look at the top of the ink pad. I don't have to worry about labeling the side. Um, and then about four of them fit into each compartment. So these trays are divided into three parts and in between each is like this plastic uh, divider and that prevents the ink pads from falling down. So I used to have this long single row and, uh, and they would always fall down and I couldn't get them back in order and um, some were you know flat again and it was just kind of a pain. So having those three different dividers really makes a difference in keeping the ink straight up and organized so that they can easily be flipped through. Now I store a little few uh, of my ink cubes on the right here because I have a little bit extra space so it fits um, four units and then some extra space. And then this one has three more and I store, uh, these are my radiant neon ones. I've got some Hero Arts neon and just some other Hero Arts neutral colors. I also store my color samples um, in little palettes and I clip them together so all the blues are together, all the reds are together. And whenever I need to find a color, I unclip it and I kind of spread the colors around and figure out which one works together. So 
you can see I've got all the different colors clipped and then I've got some stays on inks on the side. So these trays fit perfectly in those bottom Alexa, Alexa drawer units. And this is the tray empty. So you can see how it's made of durable acrylic. Um, it's made by InterDesign. You can buy it on Amazon. You can buy it at Container Store. Um, it's got kind of like a little grippy sort of thing at the bottom to make sure it stays still in the drawer. And I've had great success with this. So I hope you enjoyed that little tour of my ink storage. And I hope it helped you in your own ink storage endeavors. And I will catch you next time. Thanks for watching.